Hi, it's Rudy at Culloden Painting Studio here uh, with a new video. Today we are painting a brand new uh, Border Reaver from the Flags of War game Border Wars Under a Reaver Moon, um, which has arrived at my residence, which I'm quite happy about. Um, I'm, I've mentioned it before on the channel, but I'm actually from the Borders, so it's nice to actually game um, somewhere where I grew up. Um, I'm going to paint the face of this chap first. Um, I've got some Army Painter tanned flesh. I'm going to highlight the raised parts of the face, such as cheekbones and nose, forehead, edge of the jaw. Um, with a mix of Army Painter tanned flesh and Barbarian flesh. To further define some uh, shadows and deeper parts of the skin, I'm going to give this a wash. Um, this is Army Painter Flesh Wash in a 1 to 1 ratio with some quick shade mixing medium and um, also a tiny dash of Citadel Purple Wash. into the eye sockets and other depressions to shade that for us. Painting in the puffy shorts um, with some Army Painter Hardened Carapace, which is sort of a green-grey colour. May well need a second coat once the first coat of Hardened Carapace is dry. So looking at the gloves, um, and also our boots with some Games Workshop Citadel Bane Blade Brown. The quilted coat I'm going to do with some Vallejo Iraqi Sand. I'm using some Vallejo Off-White to do the sleeves. For the uh, quiver and strap uh, belt and scabbard along the back, I've got some Vallejo chocolate brown. Um, I did use the uh, off-white to do the fletches, uh, the feathers on the arrows as well. I also used a bit of that chocolate brown to do his hair. Now his bonnet I'm doing in Army Painter Wolf Grey. With some Vallejo Cork Brown I will pick out the bow and arrow. And now with a, a crappy old brush, um, I'll apply some Army Painter Plate Mail Metal to the arrow tips. I'm also in the guard on the dagger here. Going to have some fun with some washes. Um, I'm using different washes. Um, my advice would be if you want to save a bit of time and aren't too concerned about the final effect then an all over wash of Army Painter uh, Strong Tone is probably the way to go. Um, that said, I have some Light Tone which is diluted in a 1 to 1 ratio with Army Painter Quick Shade uh, Mixing Medium and I'm using this on the uh, padded uh, shirt and white sleeves. Whenever it's pulling, just take it away with the brush. His bonnet is going to get some Citadel Drakenhof Nightshade, which is their dark blue 
mos. And different washes are going to tint the base colors slightly differently. So I was using a brownish wash all over. Um, I had to end up with a sort of dirty brown bonnet. I'm using a blue one just to impart a bit of that shade into the blue gray. Okay, come in now with my strong tone um, and anything that's not had a, a wash as of yet uh, will get this uh, brownish wash. The <clears throat> using this wash um, over the white of the fletches of the arrows um, as opposed to the light tone on the cloth will make them uh, seem like uh, the different materials um, that they are in reality as well. Different washes over the same colour um, are a quick and easy way to sort of um, break up different materials on a, a model, make everything stand out from similar shades a bit better. Right then, wash is dry. It's amazing the difference the model looks before and after a wash. Um, and we could almost leave it there perfectly good for tabletop purposes and um, but we'll do some highlighting I'm <clears throat> initially going to take the colors that I've already applied um, such as the, the cork brown here and we're going to reapply them over the raised areas leaving that nice shade in the recesses one thing you can do um, with wood for example like this bow um, is not to overlap and it creates a bit of a, a wood grain effect if you leave a little bit of that shaded colour showing in between. Yeah, I'll come back once I've got all these uh, base colour highlights done. So I've applied a first round of highlights. That's with the base colours. And we'll start to push those highlights a bit more. There's a couple of ways to do this. We can either go for a lighter colour of paint um, or add uh, some ivory to an existing paint. For the skin, go to Neat Barbarian Flesh. For areas of cloth, I'm going to try and just restrict myself to the areas that would catch more light. So the surface is pointing upwards and also um, the edges of folds just with narrow lines. Using some coat d'arms white to highlight the off-white. With some Vallejo Elfic Flesh, I'm going to highlight the padded jacket, sort of like a little triangle tracing the uh, top of the sections of padding and also along the collar there. Leather highlight with a bit of Vallejo model colour, flat earth. Yeah, and the other option for highlighting um, I mentioned was to add some ivory to the base colour. So the hardened carapace has had a smidge of Vallejo model colour ivory. It's a bit of a less stark change than adding pure white. It doesn't desaturate the colour quite as much as white would. I'll add some ivory to the Bainblade Brown on the boots and gloves and also the 
cork brown. You can see the highlights applied uh, to the brown of the gloves and the brown of the bow by adding ivory in to the mix. I um, also did a little bit of that to the bonnet as well. Um, I'm going to do one extra and above highlighter for the skin with some Mario Painter Corpse Pale. There's little dots, nothing more. And I'm going to fill in the eyes, a bit of um, ivory and then a black dot, but that's very tricky to do on camera. Well, now time for one of my favourite things to bring a character to life, or a, a male character at least, is a bit of five o'clock shadow. Um, so I've got some Army Painter Field Grey that I've thinned quite a lot with some water. I'm just going to glaze that over the lower face. can take a, a couple of coats to get that final stubbled effect. And here is the finished model, all based up, um, with two of his mates. Uh, one in the back with um, an archivist and the other with a Jeddar staff, or a Jedbara stave, if you don't want to get too deep into the uh, borders nomenclature. And a rear view so lovely models um, from Flags of War great fun to paint <clears throat> um, and as this is a skirmish game not many of them needed for um, a battle and gives the opportunity just to spend a bit more time on each model to make them look the best they can be. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Bye for now.